Gotta get back to Sindri's and figure out how to save father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Ingravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? I don't know, you tell me. Hey guys, just me a big boy here, and welcome back to God of War. Another Ragnarok, well, the dad of boy Ragnarok, and uh, anyway, so I'm gonna continue on with the New Game Plus, and uh, Oh, well, the first time I'm playing through the New Game Plus, as uh, this time as the uh, as the younger version of Kratos, and uh, yes, I just got done uh, finishing up the uh, the Atreus and Agrabota story, and uh, I'm about to continue on with this story, and I know exactly what I'm, I know exactly what's going to happen as soon as I walk through that portal. Holy shit, fuck! I... I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I... Do not lie to me again! Boy! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it? Tell me. I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hit things, mother hit things, you had good reasons, and so do I! Why can't you just... <clears throat> later. Yeah, later. Oh, fuck, bike rush! Yeah, here we go. Like that shit. Oh, here we go. A Valkyrie. We all know who that is. Hurt, you know. Let's do this. No. Father, are you okay? Focus on the enemy, not me. Yes, sir. Oh my god! Why won't you say anything? Oh shit! Here we go! Hey, honey! Every agony. 
Hey, Freya. Every violation imagined. Boy! You do not want this! Hold your mind! Control it! She was our friend! Calm down, boy! She's angry! <laughs> Maybe for the moment you are of more use to me. Yeah. Right. Um, we'll take him. Oh, Your Majesty, a pleasure to see you again. Broadnifer. What does that mean, Broadnifer? Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> yeah, the yeah, the four of us. You, me. One gateway to Vanaheim, coming right up. Yes, I know about that. If you are still bound, how will we travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it and destroy it. I will help you, but it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I go inside my house? Yeah, I can go inside my house. <laughs> when Thor blew a room. <laughs> I hope Thor's gonna pay for that property damages. Odin. Off to Vanaheim, then. Ain't going nowhere without this. Where would you monk spouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you didn't. 
I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef-wit brother of yours. Freya is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scroat too. Just double checking. Just double checking. Got it. Welcome to Vanaheim. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Mufelheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimi. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Hey, how's about a riddle to lighten the mood? What runs with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. It's gonna need more magic than we got on it. Yeah. Let's find a way forward. Hold on. I still want to explore. Oh. Hello, Raven. Got him. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falky! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel, and it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Not. <laughs> Bitch. I know I just kill Olden's Ravens, but. Don't touch that. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. Eh? I was gonna say, thank you. Recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Wait. Let me switch back to my blade of Olympus. Yeah. I'm badass with the blades. Much more badass. Oh, fuck! Wow. Oh, whoa. okay, okay, okay. How the fuck did I not see that? Where am I going? Over here? Over there? Can't catch me. But don't that 
get the old juices flowing. Forgot how much I like traffic dirt. Can't climb up there yet, can I? <sighs> Son of a bitch. Wait. Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Aye. She'll come around. She always does. A market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect us. That's one way of looking at it. a strap of loot, do you? Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? Oof. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, I really got to be careful with those. It's a shame. Bet this here would have made for a prime shop. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. Hmm. That would be something to see. poetry of your own brother no well ask a stupid question Well, shit. Poor Brock. Following my footsteps, he keeps on like doing all that climbing. Okay. Fancy folks in quality meetings. Man, 
though I remember your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one's own kin. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. Now nah, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to my brother, maybe the worst word said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough. When the day comes to face prayer again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. Ah, there it is. Nope. did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. Shiny. Hmm. Yeah, something very shiny. Very shiny. I don't know what's up with the Australian X. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different <sighs> villages. I've never seen it so empty. <sighs> Not now, brother. We've got company. Whoa! 
one of them hairy ass bastards. You're still unpleasant. Hey, Bunker! Oh, you got another one joining the party. Look alive! What we doing, Bunker? Where we going, huh? Can't so do anything with that yet, it seems. It seems. Didn't have to do that. Hold up! If you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours, big guy. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Yeah. Give me a boost. <clears throat> uh, don't go telling no one about that. Come on up. Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save you. Uh oh. Yeah! Whoa. Whoa. You should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Well, hey, dwarf, where you at? Prayer. Lots of Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, huh? Am I right? Elves. <coughs> no, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. off your head but it seems somebody beat me to it hey oh quite observant brother <laughs> oh you're no brother of mine we sold my sister to that prick we broke it a piece oh did you now where is it hmm? and where is my sister some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. Calm down, man. Calm down. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Yngvi. There's no time to explain. Just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. 
You can undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. I'm helping your sister, not serve her. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, crusty bag? Oh, can it, blobber? Come here. Well. Found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Fair. Uh, Brock, what do you think you're doing? Just setting up shop at my fort? Just because I hug you don't mean I ain't still sore at you squabbling sandpipers. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. Go. Oh. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunkerhead brother. Five million moon beans. I didn't realize the Hobbit brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I am gonna! That's Kratos! Though you can call him whatever pops in your head. Kratos, Lunga. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Kratos. Appreciate it. Ah. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Okay, let's talk to Freyr. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. I'm pretty used to only seeing Ace here in these parts. I typically get friendly faces. That. There's a friendly face. His name is Kratos, and no, the Ace here on Vanaheim. Yeah, we've been occupied. Since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother. I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, be careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Do you know their numbers? Oh, yeah, numbers, movements, outposts. We have good intel. Uh, just short on help. I see. Well... Let's have a look at the map, then. Well, just me and Freya. Hello, servant of Freya. Do not speak to him. Shouldn't you be moving along now, stranger? Perhaps he can help. There's no reason to be unfriendly. I can think of at least a dozen. 
Bad enough he's leaving behind that head. Leave us. Tend to your bird. And you? We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? I will not compromise it. Good. Okay. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject... Ah, hello. Oh, that's that's one Odin Raven. Oh, my lord. Well. I'm gonna need, yeah, I'm gonna need that fucking rat. Fuck, I can't equip it. I could. Okay. 
Yep, this is what happened when you play on Give Me No Mercy. Now I can equip it. Wrath. Yeah. Chaos flames. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. I can still summon Mimir? Can't go that way. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. 
I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. 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 What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Yep. Looking for ravens. We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. story. You should know my daughters. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is no peace I seek. <laughs>
those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. I hardly recognize it. I used to play hide and seek with Freyr in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the wild fall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here and be reminded of all this?
Oh! Are you... I was this close! I was that close! Oh my fucking god. I don't have Mimir's head! And I almost died. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out.
Bye, Frost! Oh, God! Oh my god! Fuck! Okay. 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 I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. <laughs> He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. Yeah.
What if they even gotta be here somewhere? These plants behave similarly to the scorn points we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants were told. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, favored to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, Groa. Can't find a single Odin. Can't find a single Odin's Raven. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them.
Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? Let's cross the bridge now. Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, friends. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. <laughs> hey, I still like to loot if you don't mind. Sure, I owe you a son, but still. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Oh, shit. Vita van Dierstauda! Oh, my God. 
frozen flea. my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today can you please just shut up and kill things oh you shouldn't have said that freya you shouldn't have said that you should learn to keep your mouth shut
kill again. What? I kill to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. Not even a single Odin's Raven spotted? There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgar. What is this place? My home. I was born here. And something's gonna pop up. I know it. Hold on. Something's not right. Open Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Well, here we go. Nico. Richard, it belongs to Odin. No. We can't keep the roots wherever they are. Bastard was counting on it. Good. Keep at it. I fucked up. Don't just stand there. Move. It's still in the way. I need to get to those roots. I know. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. If I free the Vanaheim roots, I can help you. I can handle this creature. Focus on the roots. I'm trying. Not helpful. Then do a better job distracting 
Come on! Finally! Come on! Now it's me and Freya! Oh my god! I need a resurrection stone! Oh wait, I don't have a resurrection- FUCK! Hello?
What? Thank you! Talk about bad timing. Oh my god, what the fuck? How am I doing so bad at this? What the fuck, man? Fuck that! Hello? No! 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 There we go. Oh, 
Oh no 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 not again! Not again! Okay, 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 okay. Okay. It's going back in. We will not let it. Oh no, you don't. Come here. You're free! Freya's free! I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. And we all know. Have you decided? Still a part of me that is so angry. It'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. Yay! You are not the one who needs to die. 
I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. Get the attention to details on that young Kratos. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. Can they just be a couple now? I mean, they already give us that tease at Valhalla. It's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. Ah. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Well... Regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, 
You learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. Ow. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Now the sigil should hold the frost. Even in the axe's absence. Well done. Hmm. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. <laughs> Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping woods. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. Yeah, they are very beautiful. Eastern migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freya, too.
it without destroying the mother. It's a large boulder stick. You can't miss it. Yeah, kill the mama. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. can break through their shields. They're defenseless now. But then they look. has happened since I last saw Freya. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Got a point. My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble.
can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna need to replace my... All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. me, but strangers not so much. I see that.
So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know. But I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Hmm. Brothers and sisters. It really is you. You've returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. <sighs> You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything? To that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. <laughs> the elf in the back is like, I'm not getting into this. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Missed you so much. And I you again. Family reunited. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? <laughs> do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Not you. 
Got, got a few things to square with you. Second is that sigil magic I smell like. Did you just see that? I reckon that's an idea. Did Brock just glitch to a shop? Sonic Mojo. Call it a trade. I don't know what just happened, but uh, I I literally just saw Brock, you know, like like not only just like standing right in front of Kratos and Freya, but he just like glitched back to his workshop like it was nothing. <laughs> Third of all, if you ain't staying here, bears mentioning its injury, and I find ourselves running a flop house. Running done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tear. That's kind of you, bro. I may do just that. All right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Don't run off without me now, brother. I've done what I can here. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? Uh, excuse me, can you stop and help a lady out, please? Uh, what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as Oh. <laughs> what sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know exactly what this orb. I was broken when he found me. The truth I'd pledged my life to. It was a lie. Lord Freyr put what was left of me back together. Give me something real to believe in. That's Freyr, the Lord of Second Chances. He saved me, gave me a family, a purpose, and I will gladly die for both. Thank you. He's lucky to have you. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyr found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped the Blothunder breeding far north of here. We all told him she was beyond saving. But he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart. Believes in your goodness, even if you don't. <laughs> your alliance is unusual. I think what Kratos is trying to say is, he's never seen a light elf and dark elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim... Contested territory, past the barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us to... Freya, shall we go? Yes. I'm coming. Hey. I'm glad it worked. Um, 
whatever you help her do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. If I may ask, do you miss all kinds? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I appreciate your candor. Is someone going to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. How rude of me. In their defense, love, you are usually not the most... talkative. I will speak. From birth, we are taught the light is everything. The elders say it is why we fight. But all of that... It's shit. No. I am more than the hive. More than a soldier. Light elves, dark elves. All elves are the same. Stubborn. Brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. My home. There. That is all I have to say. You can go away. No. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved. You mean Big Fair and Bale? Well, they were both in prison by one side or another. Or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> you could say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birger, the Traveler? Not much. Oh, he is a talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along, Probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance. Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. Freya joins Kratos. Yay!